Back with you on Get Up, where we're talking about Celtics Heat Game 1, Game of the Night, Eastern Conference Finals. Heat hosting the Celtics. Jimmy Butler getting ready. No Al Horford or Marcus Smart in this one, and the Heat down one in the third. Jimmy Butler with the putback. Heat take the lead, their first lead since the first quarter. Six minutes to go in the third. Watch this. Butler with the steal. The hezzy on Jalen Brown and the finish. And then an important sequence here. Tatum, Tatum coming back down the floor. Butler looking. They're looking to get into their play. But Butler with the steal. And finishes in transition for the jam. Heat open the third quarter on a 22-2 run. Outscored the Celtics 39-14 in the quarter. And then in the fourth, heat up 13. Butler block on Tatum. Watch it again. Butler getting up there for the key rejection. And he's fired up with P.J. Tucker. Three minutes to go. Heat leading ten by 10. Butler with Tatum on him. The contested jumper, good. Butler finishes with 41 points. Heat take the win, 118-107. Take the 1-0 series lead. What happened, Celtics? Here's Tatum and Brown after the game. Obviously, you know, I don't want to turn the damn ball over like that. But, uh, you know, I guess you out of the course of a game, Things happen, and they go on runs. That's what they did. We got to be even more disciplined. Um, obviously, we wasn't prepared um, to be without Al. Um, and, you know, we was definitely wasn't prepared to be without Al and Smart. So um, it's not an excuse. We got to be better. And you heard him say it there. He wasn't prepared to be without Al Horford. Brian Whithorst now joining us for more on this. The Celtics were up big. They were up at halftime. They sort of collapsed in the third. Brian, what's the latest you're hearing on the status of Al Horford, who the Celtics were not prepared to be without? Yeah, for sure, Ryan. Uh, Al Horford was at shoot-around yesterday morning. Uh, so this is something that hit the team very much by surprise as they were getting ready to leave their hotel for game one. Now, this is the third time this season that Al Horford has been in health and safety protocols. It happened once in the preseason. He was out for five games in December, and now he is out here. And it is the NBA rules are a little complicated here. He potentially could be out a minimum of five days, which would be three games could also test out depending on whether he's positive or negative or whether his viral load is you know can be reduced but it is unknown at this point whether that can happen I will say there are several staff members with the Celtics who have tested positive over the last few days so this is something that's got to be worrisome around the Celtics right now um, but we will have to see how things develop over the next couple of days with Horford and you know but they have to brace themselves with reality he's not going to be around uh, for, for, for at least for game two and maybe longer. Wow, that is sneaky huge news because you talk about missing game two or beyond what's happening with Celtic staff having positive tests and how that could end up impacting the team. So that could be huge in this series. So the other guy who was out, big miss for the Celtics last night was Marcus Smart. What's the latest on him? Yeah, he just he went through some um, some testing and he just, according to Ime Udoka, he couldn't make basketball moves on that foot. And he's also dealing with a quad injury as well that he has re-aggravated several times during the last round. So uh, there was hope within the team that the treatment that he was getting um, was going to improve and he would be able to play in game two. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see. And that was really a huge uh, factor in the game because the Heat attacked Peyton Pritchard, especially uh, in minutes that would have been Marcus Smart's minutes. And, and Jimmy Butler, especially, was able to repeatedly get downhill. So the Marcus Smart situation more, uh, you know, something that could be solved faster uh, and something the Celtics probably need even more than Horford at this point. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.